we are good. All right, so welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, you know, the reason I asked if you could get on the phone and get on Zoom and share with us is so we can help others. Because a lot of people don't understand what it's like to go through the process and what it means to work with a functional health practitioner. So right. we'll ask you right off the bat, um, what brought you to the office? Um, and before that though, can you share what you do? Because I know you got a, you are a business owner and you did okay <laughs> through this COVID craziness, hopefully. So why don't you just give us a little bit of background? Sure. Um, well, first, thanks for having me um, and for helping me. And so I'm Cheryl Castro and I have the UP Agency, which is a marketing agency in Percocet. And we bring businesses up um, and try to make the world a better place. So that is I, my living is to help people and help their businesses and make the world better by focusing on businesses that are also trying to make the world better. So it's just an ongoing cycle. It is. <laughs> and it's the same thing with ours, right? So our, our whole business philosophy, our practice philosophy is if we can optimize someone's health and make them feel better, then they will have the energy to pursue their dreams and their passion. Right? There you go. So as a business owner, you have to be on top of your game. You know, you don't get quote unquote days off. You know, you don't get to play sick. Um, so you have to be on top of your game. Um, so when we first spoke, what were some of the things that concerned you the most? Uh, well, I was very tired and I was also more overweight than I had been in since I was pregnant with my second who turned 13 this weekend and my break. <laughs> and you have a, a new driver bearded, too. <laughs> yeah. A new driver. <laughs> we got a baby bearded dragon yesterday. It's been quite an exciting month. Um, and I had a lot of, I wasn't just tired. I had a lot of brain fog too. And I was attributing a lot of my symptoms to just what I was going to have to deal with, with entering into menopause, which I just assumed was coming. And um, so it was the weight, the brain fog, and the, um, what was the other thing I just said? So you had weight gain, fatigue. Uh, some memory loss, fatigue, brain fog, and memory also, loss. There you go. also joint pain. Uh, yes, yes. See, I'm glad you remember. Okay, so okay. when we first talked, we talked about other things that you've tried before you mm. came into the office. Um, you want my list? Yeah. What's your, what's your <laughs> list? All right. So I basically started trying things probably about 10 years ago because up until then I had always been small and thin. So I'm five one and I was always thin and I didn't have to work at it. And then after two children and an office job, it just started piling on. And I tried different diets. I tried the 17 day diet. I've tried, um, well, I'm not even sure I can remember all the diets. Oh, I tried a, like an Optifast diet, which is just, I knew I don't even eat that way. I eat real food. I eat organic. I eat healthy. And this was prepackaged stuff, but it promised me that I would get the pounds off and I couldn't exercise on it. And I'm I'm, I'm fairly a sedentary animal. So I was okay not having to exercise um, that. And I did lose weight, but I did not feel good. And it affected my stomach in bad ways. Um, I think I may have actually gotten a hernia during that kind of diet um, because the gas, it would just fill my stomach up with gas. It was bad. Um, I tried many, any diet that was out there, I basically tried. And I spent money getting these bundles and these detoxes. And I tried, I tried to keep them on the healthier end, but even, you know, it's still a detox and it's powdered drink or it's a whey protein shake. And it's a lot of fruit, which I have discovered. I should not have that much fruit. Fruit is like candy. Um, and I just, I never felt good. And um, I also didn't have as much exercise as I needed 
to do and I didn't have the energy to do the exercise. So right before I came to you, I had found yet another person on Instagram who was selling a bundle um, and it was intermittent fasting, which I was already kind of doing. Right. And I do feel is is great way to live. And it's very easy. Just eat breakfast later and don't eat after dinner. Like it's not a diet. It's just a good way to rest your body. Um, so I already had some understanding of things that were good for me before I came to you. But I'm like, you know what? Before I give this girl $150 for her meal plan, which would now, if I tried to calculate it after five or six years of buying plans, I'm, I've spent thousands of dollars. I had already met you. I already understood functional medicine. I understood what you did. And I thought, stop wasting my money on all these little fad things and go to a real doctor who's going to check my blood work, figure out what my body needs, not the 25-year-old's body who's right, selling right. me this stuff. And she looked great, though. Yeah. It does look great. Um, and just and figure out how I need to live, not what's going to work for 28 days, but what I want to live like for the rest of my life so I can keep up with my children and keep my business going. I need to have energy to run a business. I need to have enthusiasm. And when I'm like too tired to right. do anything, I can't help a client bring their business up any. So I needed it for, for every reason in the world. Plus living longer because it wasn't good for my health. I found out for you, I had high cholesterol. I didn't even know that. So, so many things led up to me finally calling you. So, you know, it's, it's interesting when we start to work with somebody, they always say, well, why didn't my medical doctor do this? You know, I see him, you know, every few months and all that. And I always try to explain that the difference between what those guys are doing and, and what we're doing is they're there to make sure you do not die. They do an incredible job. I work with a lot of our local medical docs. We share a lot of the same patients. What we're doing is about optimizing your health. And that's what's really most important, right? So it's the difference between health span and lifespan. So health span, we can have somebody live long and using lots of medications and stuff like that. But we want to talk about, you know, a lifespan where somebody lives long with great vitality and energy. Right. And I know when I sent you the paperwork, it was, it was a good amount of paperwork to go oh, yeah. through, right? And we ask a lot of questions that are not always asked in a typical office visit, whether it's my office visit or a conventional medical doctor office visit, because sometimes there just isn't that time. So can you talk about the time that's invested in this from doctor to patient and from patient to change in their lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Talk about it. You want me to talk yeah. about it? Yeah. I mean, um, one of the things that we always talk about is communication because there's, you know, we speak every week. When do you speak to your doc every week? Right. Well, that was, um, and that brings up, you know, and prop, many people may have to do this too. Before I decided to go with you, I had to discuss with my husband the cost, you know, because this is going to cost more than, oh, it's $150 for a bundle. But when I told him what this would all entail and the amount of communication we had. And we were even more than once a week in the very beginning. Correct. Like, I mean, I would pick something up and text you and be like, can I eat this? Right. You know? So you just don't get that. And your doctor, your medical doctor doesn't have time for that, but you, you helped me in the beginning. I could ask any questions before I put something in my mouth. I'm like, I think this is okay. And to get through the first few weeks of the AIP diet, is time consuming. It was time consuming to ask all those questions, to answer them, um, but it certainly made you think about all of the effects of how we're living, all those things. I'm like, I didn't even think that would affect, eating that would affect this aspect of my life. And buying the food and cooking the food. Yeah. I have to tell you, I'm kind of glad we're in like the quarantine period because I have now learned to, to like cooking all my meals. And I'm glad I can't go anywhere at night because I'm like, oh, whatever. Like everything costs, takes a half hour to cook, but I don't care because I like it and it's tastes good. And all my meals are ridiculously colorful. I think I'm going off the, the original scope of your question, but it, the time is, is worth it in the beginning. I think the client has to put in a lot of time in the beginning and you give the client a lot of time in the beginning 
And then as you got me on track, there were a lot fewer questions. And then it became once a week, it was just like check in and then I'd save my question for the week. And you know, you'd tell me what was affecting something and the blood work takes time. You have to go get your blood work. But all of this is aspects that it, it's so worth it. You can't figure out what you really need to do to feel better until you answer all those questions and get that narrowed down. And so I think obviously if you want to change how you live so that you always feel better, then you have to put in the time. Did I answer right. the question? Yep, I answered the question. So in the okay. beginning, in the, in the beginning, there's, you know, a lot of, you know, um, input from both sides, right? Because we're learning about what you can handle and the questions that come up along the way. And I know that we sent you recipe books. Oh, um, yes. That was helpful. And then we got you the plan, the weekly plan with the shopping list and all that. And that was helpful. So if it's okay with you, I wanna, there are three people that want to uh, be admitted in. So we're going to let them come into sure. our meeting, if that's okay. So they can join us and, you know, and make sure these guys are on mute. So you guys are now in with us um, at this meeting. I can mute you guys or unmute you. If you have any question, guys, just, you know, uh, ask away in the chat box. That's fine. So, um, Let's talk about AIP for a little bit, right? So with the AIP, um, which is autoimmune protocol that we utilize, and the reason we utilize that is to, you know, decrease the inflammation that was going on in your body. And that was new to you, talking about this inflammation. Now we're talking about nutrition, how it led to what you were eating can contribute to weight gain, can contribute to brain fog, um, joint pain, uh, that mood swings, that, that memory loss, that, that you know, concentration difficulty. And it sounded so weird in the beginning, I'm sure to you like, hey, listen, we're not going to eat this kind of food because it can affect you. Right. And everybody thinks they eat healthy, right? So I'm eating healthy. So what's considered healthy? And remember we talked about what's healthy to one person may not be healthy to another person. So for example, you love broccoli. We all know that broccoli is healthy, right? But if you're an irritable bowel syndrome patient, you have IBS with diarrhea, broccoli can absolutely tear you up. So it must have been odd in the beginning saying how food is contributing to a lot of dysfunction, right? Can you, mm -hmm. can you speak about how you had to change your food? Well, first you took away my coffee, which as we know, caused great pain. But, but it came back, but coffee but came back. But thankfully it came back. Right, and, a better um, grade of coffee. Better coffee, yes. Um, ridiculously good coffee. Coffee that, believe it, I don't even put sweetener in because I still haven't had any stevia since you put me, how many months have I been on this and I haven't had any stevia? Yeah, we actually started back, believe it or not, I looked at, it, was, it was back in April. April, okay. Right, so April, May, June, here we are in, in, you know, in July and, and it was the end of April when we began. So it seems like, yes. it seems like a long time, right? And but it really isn't, and we have some, some great changes. So, you know, the food changes, though, are, are the biggest ones. The food, and I remember there's so many things I couldn't have. And, of course, the first thing I said, well, what can I have? And you're like, everything else. So right. basically just real food. So, and I didn't, we weren't really big eat out of boxes kind of people to begin with. So I thought we were really good, but you took away my almond butter yeah. and all of the nuts and seeds that I thought were so delicious. Mm -hmm. And um, even hummus, like, I'm like, what the hummus? Like right. so many things had to go away and some of them came back. I, I do not miss not having any grains or wheat or any of that. Um, and when I did have a little, I, I think I told you the next day, I yeah. felt it. I felt sick. I was like puffed up and, um, Sushi. I miss the rice and sushi so far. That's really the only grain I'm missing. Um, but all the foods, I just, I, the, the recipes you and Francis came up with are amazing. Thank you. And every day I love, I have blue dishes and all of my food is so colorful on my blue dishes. I take pictures that I can't send you. I should just email them all to you. One yeah, day. that'd be great. I take pictures of my meal so Francis can see what I've done with her recipes and I just have never sent them to you. Send them um, to me. Upload them. Yes. And uh, just so many things had to go away. And now I really don't miss them because 
the real food that I'm eating is just, it's very satisfying. I honestly, I'm less hungry now eating these foods. Um, it's all, it's very, it's a lot of vegetables and you up the protein for me because um, I do need higher protein in my diet or I get really fatigued. Um, so you, you fix that. So I have, but it's all grass fed, organic or the good fish, lots of salmon. Um, forget what else I'm having, but it's, it's just, I hardly have eggs anymore. I don't know if they bother me or not, but they were a staple and now I have it maybe once a week. So the, the difference in, oh, because I guess my cholesterol, we lowered the eggs. Why don't we mm -hmm. have eggs? I don't remember why I don't have well, eggs. Well, eggs, eggs <laughs> like dairy can often, a lot of people are sensitive to eggs. A lot of people are sensitive to dairy, right? Okay. So that's why we took out eggs and that's why we eggs. took out dairy. Okay. So let's, let's talk about, you know, something that's very real. Like when, we, when, we're, when we're dealing with the 25-year-old uh, the um, from Malibu with the, uh, with the nice package, of intermittent fasting. I, I want to look like that, so I want right. to buy whatever she's selling. I, I hear you. Because it will make me look like that. I mean, that's, <laughs> right. that's the it's, thing. Right. And, you know, I'm 47. I'm not going to look like that. So, um, can you hear me okay? I'm yeah. getting an... All right. So, my internet great. connection was bad. Um, so, yeah, I think that's part of it is you see these Instagrammers or wherever you find them. And it's very convincing and it works great for them, but they don't have my body. And there were aspects of my blood work that came back that were really surprising to me. Like besides the high cholesterol, the, uh, my blood sugar was fairly stable. And I had right. always had blood sugar issues my whole life, which is why I ate every three hours. I need a snack. I need to keep nuts in the car so my protein stays level. And I am so much less hungry now. I haven't had, I thought, even with intermittent fasting, I thought I would freak out. I would get shaky. I would get more irritable and get the whole hangry thing going on. I, I am more stable, um, which my family's very happy about. And just, I, I'm, I'm less hungry. I'm not even thinking about food all the time, which I was in the very beginning of this AIP diet. I would wake up and think, oh my God, what am I going to eat today? Now I'm like, oh, I eat when I'm hungry and it's not till like after 10. And especially if I have my coffee with my coconut oil first. Sure. And it's just, it, it's, I, I, again, I went off on a tangent. I'm not even sure if I answered your question. So it, it, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the frustration that one experiences when they're changing their diet, their nutritional lifestyle, the first two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, when you, you can't have, what everybody else is having, right? This yes. is what this is what gets the patients most. This is what angers patients most. I want to eat the pizza, right? I want to stuff my face with ravioli, and you're telling me I got to have some spinach and some ground bison while everybody <laughs> is shoving hoagies in their mouth, right? So can you talk about the frustration of that? I think it's, it is frustrating. And first of all, you're basically given a whole list of no, and nobody wants to be given a list of no, especially when there's a lot of things on the no that you're like, no, that's good. So you're frustrated by giving a list of no, and everyone around you is eating differently. Um, and it takes a lot of self-control, I think, to be like, no. And and I've changed my phrasing to say, instead of saying I'm on a diet, because people have heard this for the past 10 years, oh, I'm on this diet, or I'm doing this now, or I can't have it because of this. Now I just say, no, I'm eating healthier. It's, it's not a diet. It's just like, no, I can't have that because I eat healthy now. And we, it kind of makes them feel a little bad for whatever they're eating. But it also, it doesn't sound like I'm depriving myself. It sounds like I'm treating myself better. So... The first three weeks, especially the first two without the coffee, I was a brat and, and, and it's a lot of no, but you, you get through that because if you want to feel better, you just have to get through it. And then after the first two or three weeks, it's not no. It's like, oh, look at all of this that I get to have now because right. now I eat healthy because I want to feel better. Right. So let's talk about the, the MSQ. So a medical symptom questionnaire, that's that one first form I sent you. And you're really surprised when you filled it out the second time. So yeah. a medical system questionnaire allows us to 
kind of give us a number from zero to four zero is you never had it. Four is kind of like you frequently have it. And you get to look at different sections, the head, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, throat, skin, your digestive tract, uh, your emotions, mind, uh, muscle, skeletal, joints, weight, and all that. So your first score was a 91. Mm -hmm. And what we look for is 50 and below. And we started in April, you just completed it the other day, and now you scored a 29. Woo! So, wow. you know, you, you, yeah, I mean, you really kicked butt. You, you did absolutely incredible. Now, the question is, that's, that, that looks wonderful on paper. Do you feel that that change reflects how you feel physically and mentally? Yes, I do. And it's funny because with that change, you know, one of the reasons I came was weight loss. And with all that change, I, I put my scale away, by the way, three weeks ago. Good. So I, I haven't even, I'm not looking anymore. But um, all of those changes occurred and I hadn't really lost a lot of weight. But what did change is that all of a sudden I had all the energy to exercise more. Like I told you, I started Zumba back up again, right. which takes a lot of energy and is also mm -hmm. great. And I enjoy it because I want to do it. And I do the strength training exercises you sent me. So all of those I had no idea that I would drop down to 20. Like, I mean, that was a big difference in the numbers. Um, so it, it was almost a surprise, like, wow, do I feel that much better? And until you get that granular and get into those questions, like, oh, that is better. Oh, that is better. And I know even on our weekly calls, sometimes you're like, mm, but wasn't this better? I'm like, oh, I forgot my feet don't hurt anymore. Like, right. once it's better, you kind of don't even notice it. So having those questions to go back to and remind you what got better is, is really, really helpful. So, you know, it's, it's a very brain thing, meaning we know when we have pain, we don't recognize when we don't have pain because we feel good. Right. So it's, right. you know, it's, if, if I work on somebody's and treat somebody's neck and they come in, I go, you know, how do you feel today? And they go, I feel it right when I can, it's almost like, nope. There. If you're looking for it, then it's improved, right? And so when right. we don't have pain, we don't recognize, wow, we don't have pain, right? So I know you have a lot of low back pain. Um, we, you have you know, the, the foot pain that would occur uh, every morning. That has changed as well. Can you talk a little bit about the fact that, you know what, the exercises, that this program also consists of exercises to help you. So how have the low back exercises helped you? And they're relatively easy to do. Mm -hmm. Um. It's amazing. It's, it's kind of, it's all so simple, really, like just with everything else, if you do it, you feel better. And when I don't do it, I don't feel good. And then, you know, some days, and it takes me 10, uh, now I'm almost up to 20 minutes because now we're doubling the number of reps right. we do, but it's, I actually enjoy the strength exercises. Um, it's fun. I put on music and I watch, I just do them. And, um, it makes me feel stronger mentally, just the fact that I'm doing them. But every day that I do them, my back feels better. And every day that I go, ah, I'm just, I'm busy. I got to get on this call, whatever. And I don't do it. My back hurts. It's, it's, a, it's a very simple correlation. If I don't do the exercises, I hurt more. But still, sometimes the laziness kicks in and you're just like, oh, it won't be that bad. So... Right. But the exercises, they're so easy. I like doing the strength stuff. I like how little time it takes. And I, it, it's such a noticeable difference between when I do them and when I don't that I have no real excuse for never not doing them. Excellent. Cool. So, you know, we're going to wrap up soon. My, my question to you is, you know, you came to a couple of our talks when we were allowed to have live talks. Uh, we're now going to do, you know, talks over Zoom, I guess, will be the next thing. I hope we can get back to live talks. I love the interaction. So what would you say to somebody who's sitting on the fence to come to work with us? Uh, there is literally no excuse not to. And I know, especially now with everybody, a lot of people are losing work and stuff, and it is an investment. But you're going to spend the money in so many stupid ways trying to get to this point that I would say, save your time and save your money and just start it right this, start it the right way now. And coming to you is the one-on-one -on -one and the fact that you, you look at the blood work, you look at the body, you understand what I need, you listen to me, you get my personality. 
you're like, oh, well, what do the lunges hurt you? I'm like, no, I have to exert. I don't like exerting, you know? It's like <laughs> you work with the person so that I, I will do the stuff and it, it's for the rest of my life. Like this is, this feels great. This is easy now. It took two months before it became easy. And now it's just part of my routine to wake up and make food and shop the right way and feel really good so that now I love the exercising. And I, I, that's my advice to someone is stop wasting your time buying what the 25 year old is selling and figure out what your body needs and come to you so that you can just really start to live the right way and live healthy now. Great. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Um, I hope this helps others. So we're going to repost this again. Uh, thank you to those who all uh, joined us. Um, Donna, I know you're on here. I loved our conversation last night. So give me, <laughs> give me a smile, a wave. There you go. Um, so thank you again, Cheryl. And, you know, we will speak soon. So I appreciate awesome. everybody coming on and we'll post this again. If anybody has any questions after this, please feel free to post them and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.